Live migration is the ability to move a virtual machine from one physical server to another. Today, live migration solutions don't allow you to move a virtual machine from an Intel server to an AMD server. Now, with this capability of live migrating across a heterogeneous server pool, enterprises can live migrate their virtual servers from one server pool to another server pool, thereby significantly driving up the data center efficiency uh, in, their, in their environment. In order to take a look at really how this thing works, let's take a look at the demo. So here is a full virtualization uh, platform that we're going to show today. What we have on the left screen is the console view of the virtual machine. So this is not a physical machine. This can be a client or anything client that is now running the virtual machine. So what we're looking at right now is the virtual machine. So this is the user's perspective, uh, one of the client's perspectives. Exactly. On the right hand side, you're going to see this is the management system. Mm -hmm. This is where you can control every aspect of, the, of the, this uh, virtualization solution. This is uh, what the administrator uses to manage all system. Got it. So if you can uh, run the video over here on the user side, you can see that we support uh, video, sound, by the way, bi-directional. You can also connect some uh, peripherals to this uh, virtual machine. And the user experience is exactly like with a physical machine. Yeah. Um, just to show you what we have here on the right hand side, again, we have the three different servers that are now running uh, the virtual machines. So that's these three servers here hosting the, the virtual machines. We have an Intel server, we have Barcelona, which is our current uh, Opteron, and we have the new 45 nanometer Opteron called it Bar uh, Shanghai. Great, so uh, that's exactly what you see here on the screen. You see the, two, uh, the three servers, and each one of them is running a number of uh, virtual machines. Um, and uh, basically, um, right now, our virtual machine is uh, running on the, on the Intel server. Now, what happens uh, if one of those servers is running multiple virtual machines? What happens if that physical server needs to be repaired or turned off for some reason? OK, so th that's a great question. In that case, you'll have to migrate the running virtual machines on that particular server to one of the other available servers in your system. Mm -hmm. And to do that, you basically go to the management system and you ask to um, migrate the, the specific uh, virtual machine to one of the other available servers. And that will work while we're playing video and while we're doing our normal day-to-day -day work? Exactly. So right now, this migration is uh, taking place while the video is playing. And you can see that the user experience is not uh, affected by it. So there is no interruption to the, to the um, um, connection to this virtual machine. Now, are we limited in how we migrate that virtual machine? Do we have to migrate it to a physical host server that is the same type? No, right now uh, with this uh, platform, you can migrate between AMD and Intel, between different AMDs, different Intels, everything works. So this would be a great way if you're going to upgrade servers in your server room, you could bring in a batch of new Shanghai servers and start migrating that work over and getting rid of those old servers. Exactly, and you can basically plug those new servers in migrate their machines, take the old servers out, and the users won't be able to, to, to tell it. So It would just be the administrator who, who knows. Yep, and one of the things that you see here, by the way, is that we're able to support multiple um, um, operating systems. So you have here examples of uh, Windows XP, Windows 2003, um, Red Hat Linux Enterprise, and, and so on. And those are all being hosted on the same uh, backend server. And I see over here, it looks like we're uh, viewing the statistics and the, the load usage of those servers. Exactly. So part of the management uh, console is to show you what the utilization of the different servers is. So right now, you can see that uh, migration took place. So basically, the, the virtual machines switch from one server to the other, and the graphs uh, show you that switch. Oh, I see. Yeah, the, the load from the Intel server has gone down, whereas the load from the AMD server has now gone up. Exactly. Because it's hosting more servers. Right. And now the virtual machine is running on a different server. Well, with no, no interruption to the user, that's excellent. It's all about flexibility. Flexibility to buy the hardware that uh, meets your best business requirement. Flexibility to, to uh, equip your, uh, your overall data center in the most cost-effective way. Red Hat and AMD will continue our work together. This just marks the latest innovation and the, the, the latest part of our collaboration um, and with direct customer benefits. So being able to focus on driving OPEX costs out and driving manageability into our customer environments.